was it, what is causing this rise in road accidents? Um, <clears throat> thank you very much, uh, Trevor, for having me. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that uh, the situation in the country when it comes to road accidents is very, is very serious. And uh, it's not something that has, as you rightly put in the graphics that you showed, it's not something that has just happened this year. For the last, uh, like, 10 years, we've been losing an average of 4,000 people per, per year. Uh, that translates to almost 12 people per day. Um, the very sad uh, statistics is that in these uh, 12 people per day, 12 people per day, you have 38 percent are contributed by motorcycles, mo mo motorcyclists and the pillion passengers. And if you uh, see pedestrians at 35 percent, mm. uh, I know that uh, the highway uh, accidents are, are highly reported, but the ones that are really killing people most are the motorcyclists. Uh, which are al always, uh, most of them are supposed to be transport of uh, last mile, mm -hmm. and then followed by pedestrians who are knocked on the road, either uh, when they were crossing the right place they were crossing or crossing the wrong place uh, uh, of the road. Yeah. And then you have 16% uh, contributed by passenger vehicles. The conversation in the country, uh, because sometimes for lack of uh, these statistics in public, many people think that it is the uh, pedestrian, uh, I mean passenger vehicle that are causing the highest accidents because, again, motorcycles are all over the country. And when, it, when an accident happens, one, one in different parts of the country, yeah. in fact, we think, in where we sit, is that we think that the statistics is understated because in some places they are not reported. It is... Uh, uh, of all these uh, drivers uh, are 9% uh, mm -hmm. of the people who die uh, in this population. And then the, the cyclists of um, um, bicycles yeah. are about 2%. These statistics combined paints a very bad picture for the country because uh, the, we lose about 5% of the GDP uh, as a result of these accidents. Yeah. Remember that we are talking just about 4,500 people dying, but also add many, about 20,000 20, that get uh, serious injuries. Yeah. And these serious injuries cost the country huge amount of money in the medical uh, uh, sector. So that is why you lose about 450 billion shillings every year, which is 5% of the GDP yeah. as a result of road so accidents. So how 